Hi, this is Hito from Samurai Tavern. In this channel, we share scientific knowledge of Samurai culture and exciting facts related to traditional Japanese practice. If you're interested in learning Japanese culture one or two steps deeper, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more contents. To grow our community, we are aiming to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Almost all Japanese swords are with coverture, which is easy for cutting. And of course the blade is made hard and sharp. But no matter how sharp your katana is, it is not very easy to cut through things, especially when you try to cut Japanese tatami mats or bamboos, which are very fibrous and compact. It is very important to make sure your sword swung in a straight trajectory with the parallel blade direction. Thus, the cutting practice tells you whether you swing or grip the sword correctly. When a sword is swung in a straight trajectory, you hear a clear sound and Japanese swords could cut through an object without resistance. It feels so exciting. Well, even with the great Japanese swords, the slight deviated trajectory or the angle of your sword blade caused the failure of cutting through an object. In that case, the force you applied is not parallel to the angle that you want to cut. It will go like this and this. It feels like you hit the tatami with the side of your sword. Even if you can cut through the tatami, you can definitely feel the shock and hear sounds that is not sharp. Oh no! No matter how much force you'd use, you will not be able to cut through it. Moreover, it will make your katana bend. What? Please be careful. But why the trajectory and the angle of your swords deviate? There are two important reasons. First, your body movement is not synchronized with your arm movement. It is much more harder to cut through the tummy when your body moves when using a Japanese sword. This is because your force is exerted in a different direction and angle, which is different from what you have imagined. For example, if you turn your body like this, the force will exert it toward your right side. When your body moves up, and down. The force is exerted to the upwards and downwards. Moreover, if you move your face, your vision will deviate, and thus the trajectory of your sword will be deviated. Let's say when you are constantly moving your eyes toward the right, you will mistake the trajectory of a sword. If you look at yourself from the tatami, the trajectory is like this. Secondly, deviated angle of your blade. This is due to the way you hold the katana. When the sword is not held correctly, or when you put too much force on it, either of your hands would highly change the angle. Maybe you could hold something instead of Japanese swords and try to put more force into your right hand. The inner muscle of human's arm is stronger than the outer muscle. When you put too much force unconsciously, your fist will rotate toward inside because your inner muscle pulls your hands more. In this case, your katana will be deviate like this way. It must be nervous when you hold the Japanese swords and you unconsciously put much force on your arms. Therefore, it's very important to train your mental in order to stabilize your body and head and relax both of your hands in such a condition. It is often said that by using Japanese swords, people can train their mental. I'm fully agree with that. How do you like today's contents? I would suggest you to try cutting practice by using Japanese swords at least once in your life. Thanks for watching. We are very happy if you'll have more fun with Japanese cultures. We will continue to share our unique videos. Please press the like button and subscribe. See you next time.